evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we have the hearts. We bring you unsettling news regarding the Enigma killer case. The first victim, as we informed you, Jane Doe, was killed at midnight last Friday, with her body bearing cryptic symbols etched into her skin, leaving investigators profoundly disturbed. Adding to the peril, the second victim, who was discovered today, met an equally grim fate, but the exact time of his death remains shrouded in darkness. We urge anyone with even the smallest piece of information to come forward. Your help is crucial in solving this deeply disturbing puzzle. We will continue to provide updates as this harrowing investigation unfolds.
was screaming while I was cutting him. Kill. Kill. The police also found a note left apparently by the killer saying, quote, each marionette holds a piece of the puzzle, a fragment of the bigger picture, and the quote, the police also stated that even though we are not... Kill. 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 First time is always sloppy, whether it's painting, performing a surgery, or cutting of a bastard. They resisted, a bit too well if you ask me. I was hoping to cut their throat and be done with it, but I guess some people just like to fight all the way to the end. The second one was a bit easier, or so I thought. I thought she was alone, an easy prey in her house, but by the time I was done with her, 
I heard her husband walking up the stairs. The third victim, I found them half passed out in the rave. The moron was probably too drunk to even realize where the moon is. I took my sweet time with him. He was the easiest. The fourth one, I knew him. Knew him too well. A loud, obnoxious chef. I always wanted to cut him up. Fortunately for me, an accident in the kitchen made him too weak to fight back, especially with his burns. Well, look at this. Another unfortunate soul meets a messy end. The cause of death? Brutality, plain and simple. We've got a body of a young female patient here, marked by violence, another reminder of the world's harsh realities. <laughs> so here we are, dissecting the aftermath of someone's poor choices. Stab wounds, broken bones, you name it. The details are gruesome, but it's just another day in the cesspool of human nature, isn't it? <laughs> we'll poke and prod, find clues, but don't expect any heartfelt condolences. Empathy left the building a long time ago. It's all routine now, just another notch on the belt of human cruelty. Hmm. Death comes in many forms, and today it's cynical, detached, and utterly unimpressed. Another life snuffed out, another story left unfinished. Welcome to the cold, indifferent reality of mortality. of uncertainty you're experiencing. It's the most exquisite of emotions. The fear, the dread, the agony. Your people here were remarkably kind to me in that regard. Gradually, our influence has seeped deeper, entwining our roots all across this land. Soon our corruption will sprawl across even more territories. But for now, I must continue to feed on you. You are one of my most significant triumphs. I cannot release you just yet, 
I find it utterly captivating that you feel guilty for her death. But, truth be told, you ended her life out of mercy, didn't you? now. You do remember, don't you? We must erase you again, after all. No, this is not just a game. Is it to you? during these final moments, you did not kill her. Isn't it deliciously ironic? I managed to persuade everyone, the doctors, even yourself, that you did it. However, I delved into your heart and mind. I manipulated you. I made you do it. I used you. Let's face it, you lacked the strength to end her suffering. However, she has transformed into something more than a mere pawn in my game, more than a satisfying meal. <laughs> soon understand. This time I am coming back, and I will ensure to create a hell you can never escape from. A hell just for you. Thank you. 